Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm here to talk about the energy forecast as it's been for the last um, a couple of weeks, what, what has been leading up to this energy, as well as this new moon energy that we have tomorrow and where we are headed with it. So I think that this is a really important time for us at this time of the year. In fact, this new moon that we have tomorrow feels like the beginning of the year. It feels like the start of the year and so you might have been feeling a lot of um, energy that's a rounding up energy that's something or something being brought to the fore in the last few weeks in the last two to three weeks where you might have had the opportunity to deal with things or work with things that belong to the yesteryear that belong to that which you can leave behind and that which you can move away from as you move into a new energy so this new energy brings us many opportunities so there is a covering, there is a feeling of being blanketed by um, a very different type of energy, like a feeling of oppression, this, this injustice that I've spoke about in the last few years uh, in these energy forecasts that will be a theme for this decade. But also um, there's this blanket of energy that's kind of standing upon us and almost wanting to oppress us. But at the same time, we have a lot of leeway within that energy, a lot of freedom really right now to direct where we're headed with this energy. And as an individual, we can actually make a huge difference. And so uh, it's important at this moment as you go on, especially as this new moon takes us through the next energy to identify what kind of energy you want to go forward in. Because now more than ever, it's really important that you be quite specific and quite detailed about how you want to move forward with this energy. Um, because, of course, you could use it in any which way you want to. But I would say it's quite sparse. This energy is quite rare. And it's important to use it in a way that's going to be really beneficial to your soul. And not to your work, or not to your family, not to your, your, your personality or how you're seen in the world, your reputation, but for your soul. So at this moment, more than ever, your soul needs to feel like it can sing. It needs to feel like there's an opportunity for you to be able to move ahead and create in this world, that you are free to do so, um, that there is nothing that's holding you back from doing so. The, the soul needs that kind of vibration. And if you find that um, you're not able to have that, if you find that you're being robbed of that uh, that vibration of being completely free, completely in a state of joy or even bliss, what's going to happen is that there are going to be repercussions from it. There are going to be not so good repercussions from it. So if you are not making sure that you are in a, in a good space as you go ahead uh, and you're making an effort to create that space and making an effort to uh, maintain that space once you've created it, then you're going to find that you're going to struggle a bit. And so obviously... I don't want that for you and you obviously don't want that for yourself. So I would say as you go ahead, take these next days to identify how you'd like to move ahead and how you'd like to be able to confront any challenges that you will face in the months ahead and uh, be prepared for it and give yourself that extra energy, that extra boom, you know, if you want to call it that, because the energy around us right now allows us to do that. The energy around us right now is supporting that. It's supporting being able to go ahead. Now, you might have found in the last few weeks that it's been a really intense energy that, um, that you would have been taken in a particular direction. You might have felt trapped in some way or the other. You might have felt like you're not able to move ahead as much as you would like to have. You might have made some plans to move ahead, but you weren't able to. Uh, you might have found that as much as you wanted things to happen, like if you're wanting to take a move or wanting to leave to go somewhere, that there might have been delays as far as that's concerned because there's a kind of an energy that's been holding you back. It's, it's like there's a it's almost like there's this huge energy and there's a resistance to this energy. So, uh I feel that, you know, don't spend too much of time worried about that. Uh, don't let that actually, um, you know, kind of eclipse where you're headed to. Uh, and don't pay too much of attention to what's happened in the last weeks. Because what happened in the last, I would say, two to three weeks really belongs to the past. It really belongs to some things that needed to be wound up, rounded up for the past, for your energy to be 
to be able to give you the possibility of moving forward. So if you've begun some things which you haven't been able to complete in the last two to three weeks and you feel that the energy is taking you in a very different direction, just don't worry about it. Um, just allow yourself to go with the flow. You will have a chance to revisit some of that stuff a little later on. I would say a little later on, like in July, August, uh, later this year, and then also uh, early next year around February, March again. And so, you know, for some uh, of you, it might be a different timeline than that, but I would say that that kind of energy comes back to revisit. And I'm not talking about the difficulties of those energies. I'm talking about whatever you might have started uh, that was a new energy that you might have wanted to um, you know, put your energy behind, but you haven't been able to. So don't worry about that. That is, you got, you are going to have a possibility to be able to go ahead with that. It was important that you planted the seeds for that. And now you're moving forward. For those of you who had real trials in the last few weeks, I have had myself, I've been really unwell. Um, what, what does it mean? Why have we had that? And how is it, what is it that we need, need to have in order to be able to move forward? Why what was that uh, ultimately? Well, I would say that that energy has a lot to do with uh, releasing uh, things on, on a cellular level for some of us, on an emotional level. It might have been bringing forth uh, to, uh, uh, to the surface some emotions that were deeply um, uh, hidden away, that were deeply uh, covered, that you might not even understood that you had. And you might have been in a state where you needed just to face that because it hasn't been faced before. So I feel like a lot of what happened in the last two to three weeks would have been uh, compounded energy from, say, uh, I would say like September, October last year, which needed an outlet uh, and it would have found an outlet either in illness, either in, in emotional instability, either in aggression or in some kind of way in the last few weeks. So if you have struggled with that and you are still in that energy, uh, fear not because this new moon is going to wash that away and it's going to bring us into a much better state uh, that we are able to move ahead without really thinking too much uh, about what's happened in, in the past. And so uh, as we go ahead, I think that because, I, as I mentioned, it's like a new moon energy it's like a new year energy and there's a lot to take in um there's a lot to take in i know i remember saying this last year as well as we got to march and i felt like um the equinox that we have in march was very much the energy uh, of a new year and i i recall that that being so last year as well and i think that as we go ahead this year the energy that we have for 2021 is going to take us until about february next year end of January, beginning of February. So you can count on that energy to, to bring you forth into the next year before it delivers you into 2022. And I think that uh, that gives you a bit of time to work as well and not to feel like you have been trying to stuff too many things into uh, a smaller um, time frame. Okay, so um, what are we talking about in terms of new energy? We're talking about bringing in a brand new energy in which you are able to create something to be able to uh, give expression to yourself. So giving expression to yourself uh, in whichever form and honest expression of yourself is extremely important right now. Because right now there is an energy around that is that of um, suppressing uh, free thought, suppressing free uh, speech, suppressing free energy, uh, suppressing the ability to just be as a human being. And so right now, as we go ahead in this year, it's really important that you pay attention to how you're moving ahead, how you actually uh, push forth, how you actually express your truth in whichever medium, in whichever format you'd like to do so. But you need to be able to give your soul, your being, uh, the space to be honest and the space to be true. Uh, to yourself. So I think that this energy for this year as we go ahead is going to be very much uh, defined by those parameters. And uh, I think it's important to think about how you want to express yourself as you go ahead. For some of you, it would be about going out there and making a difference. If you've been hiding, if you've been in the shadows for a while, now more than ever is the time for you to get out and to be able to make something happen. If you've been uh, if you've been out there uh, 
just kind of um, you know doing everything under the radar well now is a time in this year where you might have to go beyond that you might have to express your values uh, a little bit more publicly uh, in a way that more can hear you, uh, in a way that it has an actual impact in the world. So for those of you flying below the radar, well, now it's time for you to come out of there and to have the courage to be able to step forth and do things. If you are in relationships where you feel you can't speak, you can't uh, say what you need to say, you, you aren't able to really express what you need to do, this year, this time, between now, March now, and Feb 2022, is an ideal time to be able to unpack those relationships and say, hey, well, you know what? This is how I feel about it when you say this and say that. And this is how I feel about it when you take that action. And this is how I feel uh, about our relationship. And, you know, is there a way that we can uh, move ahead from this and actually make some, some differences that, that can apply to us both, that can help us both and help this friendship or family relationship or love relationship, whatever it is, be uh, be able to move forward in a in a with with a degree of authenticity and and truth. Okay, so those kind of questions will also come up as you go along in this year. They might have come up for you already. It might have been a theme for you uh, in this last two to three weeks. It might have been foreshadowing what's going to come up. And I think it, if you whatever you've considered to be really important in the last two to three weeks, it's going to be really important as you go ahead in this year. So don't just say, okay, well, you know, to hell with that. Uh, it's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to sweep it under the carpet and, you know, we'll see what happens. I think you need to be cognizant of this, uh, popping up now and again, not in the extreme version that it's popped up in the last two to three weeks, but it might be an underlying theme as you go along. Okay. So I would say that, um, uh, to, to, uh, um, encapsulate this energy in a nutshell, I would say that it's all about allowing your soul to dance, to be free, to sing with joy. And this doesn't mean uh, stepping behind uh, a leader. It doesn't mean um, stepping within a particular context of a religion or an institution that allows you to do that or some kind of cult. It allow, it's asking you as an individual to lead yourself, to be able, asking your soul to lead itself into a state of joy and bliss and to be able to really feel that as you go along because trying to access it through a leader, trying to access it through a religion and through um, some kind of ritual that uh, is a bridge between yourself and that is actually not going to be as satisfying as it might have proven to be in the past. All right, so I'm going to leave you with that and good luck with that. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know uh, how you've been in the last two to three weeks and uh, what kind of energy has come up for you and how you plan to go ahead and what are your dreams and goals as you plan to move ahead in this in this year. And I wish you the best time ever as we um, come up to the equinox and um, as we move into the year itself, into the body of the year, as I'd like to call it. And so good luck with everything that you have uh, going for you and everything that you're busy with. And please stay healthy and safe and well. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.